An ongoing issue at the Des Moines City Council is the absence of council member Indira Shoemaker, but we are finally getting some answers about possible action. Local 5 Dana Serials was uh, at the tonight's City Council meeting and joins us now to tell us a little bit more about some of those next steps. Yes, Stephanie, after a civil complaint was filed last week, the City Council is now looking forward to a solution. I spoke with Mayor County after tonight's City Council meeting about his plans for the next steps. After a citizen's complaint filed August 1st, calling for action from the city council. Well, I felt like there was confusion about what the process was and what steps could be taken. And so I took it upon myself as a fellow Ward 1 resident and an attorney to uh, look to see what the process would be. And uh, I saw that there was a clear way to have the city council um, vote to make these, to, to uh, remove Indira. The mayor of Des Moines is now responding. Do you guys hope to have something on the agenda for either the August or September meetings um, regarding this? Yeah, absolutely. And addressing the issue, Mayor County says he plans to reach out to Council Member Shoemaker one more time for an explanation. We're, you know, obviously concerned about her, her health and well-being, but also those constituents in Ward 1 they need representation and that's what she was elected for. Obviously, Ward 1 needs representation and we need to figure out how to do it as expeditiously as possible. So if action isn't taken now, it will require a special election or a legal battle, which will require taxpayer dollars. And if the hearing happens in the next two city council meetings and they decide to vote her out of her seat, then Shoemaker's seat will be able to be on the November election ballot. Um, there is possibility of elections, special elections. I mean, there's lots of things, but we need to move forward as quickly as possible. Need to reach out, um, ask for intentions. What's going on? We're concerned about you, but we're also concerned about the needs of, of our Ward 1. And uh, um, as was pointed out, our at-large people are doing it, and I'm getting lots of calls myself. Now, when I spoke with Mayor County, he, alongside other city council members, said that they haven't heard from Shoemaker since March 6th. And Attorney Helstern says it is now fully in the city council's hands to take action. And council members say they do have goals to make sure Ward 1 is represented as soon as possible. All right, Dana, thank you very much for that update.